In this video, we'll talk about glutamate glutamine cycle. Glutamate is an amino acid which can also serve as a neurotransmitter. Glutamate is an excitatory neurotransmitter in the brain. In fact, 60 to 70 percent of all the synapses are actually glutamatergic synapses, so it's pretty common in the brain. Glutamatergic synapses can be found in the central nervous system and also in the peripheral nervous system. Now, let us talk about the glutamate biosynthesis and the utilization. So actually glutamate, glutamine cycle is under this broad theme. So this is the synapse. So it's kind of like a tripartite synapse. You have a presynapse, postsynapse, and you have astrocytes, which are glial cells regulating this synaptic activity. So in the presynapse, when the action potential reaches the terminal, glutamate would be released in the synaptic cleft, which would eventually bind to the glutamate receptors in the postsynapse. Important part is how glutamate is synthesized in the synapse and packaged. So glutamate in the synapse is synthesized from glutamine by the help of enzyme glutaminase. Once synthesized, it gets packaged into the vesicles. Now, glutamine comes from the glia, the astrocytes. So there are specific transporters in the presynapse, which uptakes glutamine, and that is utilized in the presynapse to generate glutamate. Now, glutamate is ultimately packaged in the vesicles with the help of V-glut transporters. Now, when there is an excess amount of glutamate in the synaptic cleft, then it can be uptaken by the glia with the help of excitatory amino acid transporters. Some amount of excitatory amino acid transporters are also present in the presynapse. So once glutamate is uptaken in the glial cell, in the astrocytes, it can be converted into glutamine by the help of the enzyme glutamine synthetase. And this glutamine, as I have mentioned, can be channeled into the presynapse, which would be utilized to generate glutamate. And this is one of the system by which synapse efficiently generate glutamate from glutamine. And this is a rapid synthesis, time efficient synthesis. And by this, glia takes an important role in modulating the synapse and release of neurotransmitter. Now, let me tell you that too much of excitatory drive by glutamate is actually bad and it leads to runaway excitotoxicity in the brain, which results in neuronal death. So, how does astrocyte help? Excess glutamate in the synaptic cleft can be uptaken by the astrocytes and thereby it can help the system to clear up excess glutamate and preventing the circuit to be damaged by too much of excitability. This is how this particular cycle is really important. First of all, it's a fast way of generating glutamate. Second of all, it is important to maintain the glutamate balance in the synaptic cleft. I hope this was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram page. Links are in the description. You can follow and uh, support our channel using super thanks. You can pay via Paytm, PayPal or UPI. See you in next video.